But it says, Raymond Wilson, reflecting the glory of God, God said, let your light so shine before men that they might see your good works and glorify our Father in heaven. And so God has given us scripture today in the book of Romans chapter 10 and verse 9. We've quoted that many times. You've read it many times, but it's a tremendous verse of scripture. They read it to me the night that I was born in the family of God. When I crawled up under that old pew and asked God to save my soul. And there it was that they opened up the scriptures and they went through the Romans road. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. None righteous, no, not one. But God commended his love. For you and I, when we were sinners, God died for us, and surely we have sinned, and surely we have come short of the glory of God, but thank God for His mercy and His grace. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. And so God has provided through His death that we might have eternal life. So in Romans chapter 10, verse 9, He said that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thy heart that God has raised Him from the dead, Thou shalt be saved. And so salvation by faith, faith in the Word of God, faith in the Scriptures that God has allowed us to read, study, and know a little bit more about Him and more about the power of the resurrection. The Bible teaches us throughout the Word of God. For by grace are you saved through faith. That's not of yourselves, it's a gift of God. And so God has given to you and I the grace of God, unmerited favor of God. God giving us faith that we might have salvation. So not only did He give us a, a grace, but He gave us faith. And therefore, you and I can come before Him. God did love the world enough to die on the cross of Calvary that we might have eternal life. And for that, we're grateful this morning. We give Him praise and we lift Him up. And it's all by, by faith. I've never seen God face to face. I've never seen the Lord Jesus face to face. Never seen the Holy Spirit face to face. But all oh, the blessings of God, when we think about God, has blessed us beyond measure. And we give Him praise. God the Father has blessed us blessed us abundantly on the face of this earth and in the blood of the Lamb of God that saved us, redeemed us. <laughs> Surely we can give Him praise and honor. And then we feel the presence of the Holy Ghost of God when we are anointed, when God touches us by the anointing power of the Holy Spirit of God. And we rejoice, joy unspeakable and full of glory, a peace that will pass all understanding. And God has allowed you and I, the joys of God, to flood our heart and flood our soul. So when we think about being saved, born in the family of God, Many people ask, how do you know you're saved? How do you know we can come before God and be saved more than the family of God? Well, it's all by faith, all by trusting in God. If we, we will believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. And so it's by faith, by you trusting God, believing in God, and knowing that God is alive and well and on the throne of God. So faith, and I thought about faith and what faith uh, is and when I look through the Word of God, I know that faith, faith when we think about faith in a sovereign creator, God is a creator. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And so we know that God is a creator by the Word of God. And so we know that when we think about the faith in God, I don't have second opinions about uh, who created. I just know God created by the, by the Word that God has given to us in the Scriptures. And He inspired men of old that they penned down the Word of God that you and I might believe and you and I might trust in the Word of God. A book that God's kept alive for all these years. After the canon of the Scriptures, the Old Testament laws and then the Gospels and then the epistles of Paul and God put all of those men together and they have written down the Word of God that we have today under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit of God. And so I believe in the creation of God, in the beginning of God. Also faith in the inspired Word of God, knowing that this Word will stand when everything else fail. Heaven and earth might pass away, but the Word of God will stand. It stood through the time and eternity, and we'll praise Him for that. And then we uh, have faith in the finished work of the Lord Jesus Christ. When we read the Gospels and we know the Lord Jesus came to this earth, uh, <coughs> excuse me, born to, uh, a little maiden with the Holy Spirit of God came and uh, the blood of the Holy Spirit of God uh, was planted in this young maiden and she brought forth a child and he called his name Emmanuel, God with us, the Lord Jesus. And when we think about the Lord Jesus Christ, the uh, 
inspired word of God and in the finished work of the Lord Jesus Christ. He came, born of a virgin, ministered on the face of this earth, healed many, caused the blind to see, the deaf to hear, uh, the lame to walk, and the dumb to speak. Uh, and God has opened the eyes of many people. I was blind, did not understand the word of God. I saw through a glass darkly, but God opened my eyes. I was able to see the word of Almighty God. And so it's through the finished work of God that we trust. He went to the old cross of Calvary, shed his blood, they pierced him and they striped him and they beat him and put a crown of thorns on his head. But yet he finished the work. He said it's finished. It's done. He finished the work that God sent him to do. They placed him in a tomb. The third day he arose and that 40 days later he ascended back to the heavens and is now seated at the right hand of God. That's the finished work of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I believe in the finished work of the Lord. I believe he came. I believe he fulfilled. I believe he gave us a promise in one glorious day he would come. Before he left, he said, I must go away, but I'm going to send the power of the Holy Spirit of God. I'm going to send the comforter back, and the comforter will come and reprove and rebuke and give us comfort in times of need, in times of grief. And so we have faith in the eternal work of the Holy Spirit of God. God, the Holy Spirit came. It was through the Holy Spirit that God convicted my heart, birthed me into his family, that I can rejoice and shout and praise the living Lamb of God. And then we have faith uh, in the experience of a new birth. God has birthed us into the family of God. Don't know all the details. I just know I was going in one direction and all of a sudden I'm going in another direction. My mindset was changed. I, when God the Holy Spirit came in, baptized me with the power of the Holy Ghost of God, uh, and now he leads us and guides us and directs us, and now we know uh, the work of the Holy Spirit of God. Uh, take a lifetime to teach all about the Holy Spirit of God, all about the finished work of the Lord. But God said we have faith in God, faith in the Holy Spirit, and then we believe in the experience of the new birth when we were born in the family of God must have that experience in your life. Church membership won't get you to heaven. Being a good person won't get you to heaven. Thinking about the moral standards won't get you to heaven. It'll take the blood of the Lamb of God, conviction of the Holy Spirit of God to convict your heart, birth you into the family of God. I, I believe and have faith in the throne room in glory where God is now seated, the Lord Jesus, seated at the right hand of God that we might ever have eternal life. I believe in the second coming, faith in the second coming. I believe the Lord said I'm going away but I'll come back and he said if I go away I will come back and I'll receive you unto myself that where I am there you may be also I believe in the finished work of the Lord Jesus Christ and I believe in the promise of the second coming I'm looking for him to come either through death or catching away either way we'll leave this old world God said we'll be changed in a moment in a twinkling of an eye and God said when we think about going to heaven God said to be absent from this body is to be present with the Lord there'll be a day there'll be a time when my soul and my spirit will depart from this body and it'll be in the very portals of glory we'll bow before the throne of the Lord Jesus Christ will bow before his feet we'll sing worthy is the Lamb of God and throughout all eternity we'll praise him and lift him up. Salvation is all about faith. All about trusting in the Lord Jesus Christ. I trust you've been born in the family of God. If not, just believe God. Believe the word of God. Find your place to pray. Ask God to come in your heart. Ask God to save you. And according to the word of God, God will save your soul and you'll have eternal home in the very portals of glory in Jesus' holy name.